your Creative Cloud subscription, you have access to a large collection of professional fonts through Typekit. You can find and install Typekit fonts directly from within Illustrator or at typekit.com. In this video, I'll show you how to do both. I'll also show you how to view and manage your installed Typekit fonts with the Creative Cloud desktop application. I'll select the word Typekit to start here and then go to uh, the Type menu and over to Font and we'll see all the fonts that are currently installed on my system. And if we look down the icon on the left hand side, we'll see the different types of fonts. This one, Active, is a Typekit font. With the font menu though, you don't have an option to filter the types of fonts or to search for more fonts. If we come over here to the character panel in the properties panel, we can see that this word type kit is set with Myriad Pro. Clicking on this caret icon to the right will show us um, a menu of all the fonts. And right now they're um, being filtered by type kit because this icon here is on. If I click that and turn that off, we'll see all of the fonts that I have installed. On this um, computer screen that I have, it's not displaying all those fonts in that list very well. So I've opened the character panel, which is the same menu as we have inside the properties panel here. And let's take a look at how this looks here. We'll click next to Myriad Pro. These are all of the fonts that are installed on my system. As I hover over them, we'll see a real-time preview of the word Typekit with that font. And then I can filter with the Typekit icon right here. So currently, these are the Typekit fonts that are installed on my system. I can add more Typekit fonts to my system by clicking this button here. And that launches a browser and takes us to typekit.com. I'll scroll down the screen here so we can see what our options are. First of all, you have the option to put in whatever custom text that you wanna see the font in. So I have Typekit in this field. So we're getting a preview with these different typefaces. We can control the size of that as well so we can see those even better. And then if we look to the right here, we can filter by classification. So we have sans serif, serif, slab serif, script, black letter, mono, hand, and decorative. Let's switch back to Illustrator here because I wanna show you that if you click in your um, font field here, where it says filter all classes, you see the same set of classes here. So there's a, a connection between what you're seeing at Typekit and what's inside of Illustrator. So let's switch back to the browser here and filter by script and find a, a script font. So now we're seeing script options that we're looking at with the word Typekit and we can find one Let's take this Madre script. So if I click on the Madre script, it takes me to the page where I see how many options there are. Now this script only comes with a single font face. Some of these, some of these fonts will have large families. And if there's a large family, say there's bold, italic, regular, condensed, extended, then you would have an option to sync everything in the family at one time with this button or individually here. So we'll sync this Madre script and it syncs pretty quick. Already it says font is synced. And then if I switch back to Illustrator and go up to my menu here, we'll find that um, right here, Madre script. So that quickly we were able to install a type from Typekit and apply it to our art in Illustrator. Now let's take a look at how we can manage Typekit fonts with the Creative Cloud desktop application, which I have open here. There's a few tabs across the top. Right now I'm on the Apps tab. If I go to the Assets tab, there's an option for fonts. So right now it's on Files. I'm gonna click on Fonts. And this shows a list of all the Typekit fonts that I currently have synced to this system. If I click on the button Sync Fonts from Typekit, it takes me to the same exact place or the same exact browser window that we went to from Illustrator. If I click on Manage Fonts, it takes us to the same website, but a different page on that website where you can manage the fonts that are installed. We'll see that I have 31 fonts currently synced out of 100 possible. 
So Typekit allows you to have 100 fonts synced at any one time. If you need another font and you're at 100, you're going to have to unsync a font. So we'll show you how to do that. We'll unsync this first one, Active. There's three fonts that are part of this family. So if I click Unsync, now I have 28 fonts that are currently installed. I can come back here to Browse. I don't have to go back to the Creative Cloud desktop app or to Illustrator. I can just do that right here from the website. And then maybe we look for a black letter font and install this one by clicking on it. It will take us to the install page and we'll see that this font has two um, fonts in the family. So let's click sync all. This one's taking a little bit longer. I'm not really sure why. So now we're back to 30 fonts in the plan. And then if I switch to Illustrator and I come back up here to my character window, we'll find this black letter typeface that we just installed. Illustrator makes it really easy to add fonts on an ad needed basis. So it's really no problem to have the 100 fonts limit. You can unsync fonts at any time and then when you need them, Illustrator will automatically reload them. So let's come down here to the one that I just turned on, this Fleesh Worst, and I'll unsync it. And then I'll switch back to Illustrator because I've closed out of that file. And when I go to reopen this file, I'm going to get a message that the font isn't available because it's not currently synced. But this will go out and find it. It already has. It's already gone out to Typekit, found that the font is available. That's why this check mark is here. And I can just say sync fonts. And that font is going to get synced. So Illustrator went out to Typekit, activated the font, and opened the document so now we can continue to work. It's not possible to embed these fonts in an Illustrator document, so anyone that you collaborate with must also have access to Typekit. Typekit fonts can't be downloaded and distributed, so you can't take a Typekit font and send it to a client or a printer, for example. So anyone you share your document with must also have a Creative Cloud subscription. If you are a student, your school's Creative Cloud license may not include Typekit services. This means that you won't be able to create text with Typekit fonts at home and then continue to work on that text at school. It's good to understand this limitation so that you can plan your project workflow accordingly.